What's up, YouTube? It's Matt Luke here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 Ultimate on a Mac with VMware Fusion. So, just to show you, this is the Ultimate version. I'll just put this in full screen. And uh, right here, we have the actual Windows 7. So, everything works great. And uh, as you see here, Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, so, I'll show you how to do that uh, right now. So for this uh, tutorial you'll need a few things. First of all, VMware Fusion, which is the one I use for uh, virtual um, operating system, but you can also use Parallels, Parallels Desktop. And I think there's also another one which is called Virtual Sandbox, I think. Uh, so you'll need VMware Fusion and of course the Windows 7 Ultimate ISO, or if you don't have the actual ISO, uh, you can also have the CD, also works, uh, CD or ISO. Uh, however, so I don't really care how you get it. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, so yeah, those two things you need: VMware Fusion and Windows 7. So let's get in the installation because it's quite long, uh, especially since it's Windows and it's taking some time. So uh, first off, launch uh, VMware or Paradise Desktop. And then we want to do a new virtual machine. You know, say continue without disk, or if you have a disk, you don't. But uh, we'll say you don't have a disk. I'm just gonna close this. So here, you wanna check the use operating system installation disk image file, and then you wanna select it here. I'm just gonna uh, select it. So you gotta choose. So then you just hit continue. Then here for the operating system you say Microsoft Windows and since there's no Windows 7 in the list you're going to choose Windows Server 2008 or 64 bit edition also possible. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes faster or slower. Um, so here you'll just enter your information. So account name, password uh, if you want and uh, product key. So for the product key um, I'll hide that. Obviously, that's why you see that black thing, and because I have the product key. Um, so yeah. So then you hit continue once you have the product key inserted, and then once you're on this uh, virtual machine summary, you're gonna click on customize settings. Or wait, uh, let me check. Uh, this is up to you. Make your home folder accessible to the virtual machine. I'm gonna uncheck it for now. So uh, then hit continue, and then click on customize settings. So here you can uh, name it, so I'm going to name it Windows 7. And then uh, you can say where you want to save it. This is going to take you about 8 gigabytes of uh, hard disk memory. So then when you come in the settings here, um, you want to choose for the processor and RAM. I'll choose two virtual processors, but be sure it's at least the minimum required for Windows 7 so you can you can check that out. I'll probably do it in the description or you can just go on Google and search it up. So I'll just give it some RAM here. So let's give it 2.4 about. So yeah, and then here for the hard disk, you can say how much maximum you want to give it. But this is only um, allocated, so it's not really used immediately. It's only used when you want to use it. So then click, uh, if you um, clicked away the library, just click on VMware Fusion again, and Windows 7 should be here. So then it's going to start up the installation pro process. So I'll put it in full screen so you can see it better. So this uh, installation process can take a while. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to probably cut a lot of parts. But here, right here, uh, Windows is loading files. Uh, just wait. It's going to say starting Windows. And then I'll come back when you'll have to start clicking or doing something so don't do anything till the next part it should be everything should be done for you uh, here this is a, a few minutes later it's gonna say setup is starting so that's gonna take a while it needs to start a setup which is quite weird but uh, that means it should work from here on uh, if it didn't work if uh, yeah if here at the setup is starting and there's a pop-up uh, that can be that your uh, product key is not correct, so uh, you'll definitely need a good product key um, to do this. 
it's uh, the setup is starting and it's finishing starting. Uh, here you can choose the architecture you want to choose. So in the seven ultimate sixty four bit or eighty six bit. Uh, this is really up to you. Uh, I mean, uh, it's really what you want for a personal preference. But for this tutorial, I'll just do the sixty four bit. So if you chose the sixty four bit version at the when you made the virtual machine, uh, you'll see the. You have to read the license here, so you can just hit accept. Uh, if you accept it, of course, and then say uh, how much uh, space you want to give it. So just hit next, and then it should start the installation. So right here, it's going to say when uh, copying Windows files and all that stuff. Um, right there. So um, <clears throat> here for copying Windows files should be quite quick. Expanding Windows files should take most of the time, and then installing features, updates, and completing installation. For the updates, you'll see that he'll ask you if you want only the the really most important updates or just not, or all the updates or just no updates at all. So you can check that out. And expanding Windows files is going to take the longest. So it's normal if it stays stuck at 0% for a very long time. Um, that's normal, but don't worry, it's still working, it's busy on it. As long as those three dots are like moving right there. Uh, it should be okay so I'll come back when this is like finished and you'll need to do something so yeah um, you don't need to do anything till I come back so yeah that's it so guys uh, when it's expanding windows uh, this pop-up can pop up um, so this shouldn't pop up for you guys honestly uh, uh, this is maybe when you do it for a few times after each other uh, this can happen but if you do it for the first time it shouldn't happen so if it does happen, you have to press OK and the virtual machine is going to uh, reboot. Reboot. So, uh, yeah. Let's wait for that. Huh? Oh, oh, it's finished! After like three times or four times of restarting, uh, finally you get to the desktop so the first thing automatically what's going to do is going to install VMware tools which is show you it's not optional at all you just have to do it but it doesn't take that long it just takes a few minutes uh, I mean it doesn't take that long comparing to uh, to uh, um, the Windows installation so uh, yeah I'll come back when this is done uh, done um, installing the VMware tools. Uh, basically, it's gonna ask you if you want a home or a business or public or something. Uh, I, apparently, the window disappeared at mine. Just it just disappeared at a moment. Really weird. But uh, anyways, uh, you should take home, and then it's quite easy because you just need to enter your name and then just hit OK. So it should be uh, quite easy to do. Uh, apparently, the window just disappeared, but um, yeah, anyways, after that, uh, VMware will automatically adjust uh, the resolution normally, so as it done for me. So then you basically have Windows 7. Uh, quite cool. I mean, you have all the features here. Um, so uh, you can still customize the settings in the VMware as long as the machine is shut down well. You customize the settings. Um, so you get this cool features here. Uh, makes it bigger at the side. That's the 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 main feature I like about the Windows Seven is basically uh even if it's very simple, it's this uh feature that you can exactly put two windows and then they're exactly side to side. That's quite cool. Um, <clears throat> so that's it. You got uh Internet Explorer and Windows Media Center uh as a standard on it. Paint as well. All those standard Microsoft accessories you do get. Uh, you can update some more. Uh, if you want, so he'll probably ask you if you want to update, so you can just go to, uh, probably, let me check. So if you go to getting started, right here in the, the thing, you could probably get Windows Live Essentials. Uh, that's probably for the extras, and then you got some other options, but that's basically, you can uh, check it out if you want. Uh, can be cool. Um, so anyways, uh, that's it for Windows 7. I hope you liked it. I know it was quite long. Uh, the whole process probably takes you almost two hours. Uh, so it's really long, but it's Windows, so 
yeah, you cannot really do anything about it. Uh, not that I hate Windows, but it is quite slow. Um, except Windows XP was quite good. For the Windows 7 Ultimate installation uh, video, so I hope it all worked out for you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send me a personal message on YouTube or leave a comment box because it's highly uh, probable or uh, yeah possible that you have some kind of different window that I didn't come up with or stuff like that because I had to reinstall it like five times before making this video so uh, it took me a while to figure it out but normally it should work all, all, all quite well for you guys but oh uh, yeah like I said comment or personal message me and also rate subscribe and yeah thanks for watching peace